I got the Abus Hybin 2.0 for my daily commute to work and the gym on my e-bike. At first, I nearly sent it back because I struggled with fitting it properly. But once I figured out how to adjust the jaw and chin straps, it was a lot better. Don't give up and cut off the excess straps and singe the ends. The aesthetics of this helmet is really nice. The helmet looks great and feels really good when you wear it. For $40, it's a fantastic deal considering the quality. I feel protected and the rear safety light is a nice touch for added visibility. I do wish the light was rechargeable, but that's a small issue. It's a bit heavier because of the quality materials and doesn't have MIPS, but overall, if you're on the fence about it like I was, go for it. The Gyro Camden MIPS helmet arrived right on time and was packed well. The rear light is very bright, which is a great safety feature. I usually wear a hat size of seven and a quarter or extra large, so I went with the large helmet. With the dial adjustment, it fits snugly on my head. I was worried the medium might be too small, even at full adjustment. The magnetic chin strap can be a bit tricky to use at first, but it should get easier with daily use. I've noticed one issue though. The chin strap tends to loosen under slow tension. If I hang the helmet on my handlebars, the strap can loosen in about 20 minutes. As others have mentioned, this helmet is quite large and a bit heavy. But since my Segway scooter can go over 18 miles per hour and I ride through the busy streets of LA, the extra protection is worth it. I only have one head. One downside is the short charging cord. I don't have any longer mini USB cords. It's a hassle to put the helmet on the floor just to charge it. Given the helmet's price, which isn't exactly cheap, a more practical charging cord would be expected. This helmet not only has a sleek, modern design, but also does a great job at keeping you safe while cycling. I knew it was just a matter of time before I decided to buy one, going for the real deal instead of a knockoff. Recently, after getting my new e-bike, the topic of helmets became a bigger concern for my family, especially since I often ride at speeds of 28 miles per hour. Safety was a top priority. Thousand helmets had come highly recommended from various articles, and the fact that this helmet included a magnetic tail light, came in an all-black design, and looked fantastic, made the choice easy for me. I didn't hesitate. I knew this was the right pick. I was particularly excited about the magnetic hole for my bike lock, but soon realized my kryptonite lock was too thick to fit through it. In hindsight, I should have noticed this from the images, but it didn't occur to me at the time. Instead, I've been locking my bike through the helmet straps, and it works just fine. I'm not sure what someone would do with a helmet that's lost its straps, but luckily, I live in a fairly safe neighborhood. It's kind of amusing that I've developed such an attachment to a bike helmet. While I wish I could use the lock feature, I understand now that it's more of a novelty, and I should have anticipated this limitation. In the future, I might look into getting a different lock or an additional cable to utilize the feature. But if you're looking for a sturdy, safety-focused helmet with all the extras, I strongly recommend grabbing a thousand helmet. It's a stylish, reliable choice that doesn't skimp on safety. <laughs> <laughs>